decision to start Josh today? Just to keep you guys on your toes. Me? It's for us? No, uh, to keep you guys, yeah. not you. Uh, <laughs> you guys. No, uh, it's a lot. A lot of smart people in here. Um, we uh, we came up with that decision to uh, just to see how Josh handled it, and also to see how DP. I mean, I'm sorry, um, D Jones handled it, and uh, talked to um, D Jones about it. And uh, he's a pro, man. He's all he said. All I want to do is win. Whatever you need me to do, coach. Uh, he didn't do anything to come out of the starting lineup. You know, sometimes we lose focus that everybody gets caught up in having their name announced uh, to start the game, but it's uh, about finishing the game. That's where you get paid. And so, um, you know, D. Jones is a pro. That's why we wanted him. Um, again, not just because of the shots or the rebounds or the defense he's playing, but he's about winning. And uh, he showed that by uh, giving a teammate an opportunity to start, and Josh did a great job starting. Coach, talk about the impact of Kyrie in the third quarter. To kind of get you guys over that hump. Yeah, I thought um, in the first half he had some great looks that just didn't go down for him, and uh, we came right back to him to start the third, and uh, he let us know that he was ready to go, um, and so he got us going offensively. But I, I, again, uh, we always talk about points uh, as as um, you know, but I thought his defense was really good on uh, Freddie tonight, just picking him up full court and uh, making him work. And so, uh, again, uh, we'll look at the points. He was good. Um, but, again, I thought it was his defense uh, being able to come back and uh, help us on the defensive end. Uh, can you just talk on the importance of Lively, that stuff that wouldn't show up outside the box score? Uh, from your perspective? Yeah, you know, I think just uh, being able to change shots, uh, but I thought he did an incredible job on the offensive boards of giving a second or third opportunities there. Uh, there in the fourth, rim running, um, understanding um, a lot of teams will slow it down. We were talking about we have to get our pace higher, and uh, Kai found, found him for an easy lob. Um, those things uh, will go unnoticed of his hustle. Um, um, and I thought he did a pretty good job defensively. Um, Segun is a, a very good player to have 31 points, uh, uh, but I thought he made him work. And, uh, and we missed him the other day in, um, in L.A., but I thought today he was really good, bounce back game, um, especially coming back from that injury. With, with Lively's fouling, how much is he still learning you know, how to play defense and, and avoid fouling? How much of it is, is just him earning the benefit of the doubt, which – say is something that comes with time yeah it's going to take him some time to, to be able to understand you know how to stay out of foul trouble he's 19 um there's so many talented players in this league who can score and who know how to draw fouls um so uh, again it's a crash course for him but he's doing an incredible job uh, on both ends and so uh you, we're going to have to live with some of those fouls um, we're going to have to live with some of the blow buys but uh, his heart is in the right place. He's another one who's about winning. It's not about scoring. It's about whatever it takes to help the team win. And uh, that's what he does for us when he's on the floor. Luke is obviously a great scorer, but when he's down on the floor digging out a, a loose ball like that that leads to a layup on the other end, what does that do for the team emotionally and the message it sends? Um, is it the hook shot he made? or Oh, because that, that's what he – I mean, those are, that's what he does. Um <laughs> Uh, no, I think, again, um, I've said this before, um, sometimes we take him for granted and we shouldn't. Um, he's about winning, too. It just happens that he, he's a walking triple-double. Um, tonight he has some great looks, uh, but I think he's not looked upon as, or you guys haven't really talked about his defense. He's competing defensively. Um, he's taking the challenge, um, but again, you know, when, when you're that good, um, someone has to pick at something. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, you guys don't see the game, um, you know, totally all the time. Is But he's competing defensively. And so for him to get on the floor, uh, it just shows that he's all about winning, too. Last year, after you guys traded for Kyrie, the clutch situations were a struggle. Uh, what, and this year, you guys are among the best in the league in those situations. What have you seen the difference in the dynamic you know, specifically with uh, Luke and Kyrie when you're closing games? Um, I think maybe, Tim, maybe it's the things that you guys thought should have happened day one, is that they should be successful right off the bat. Um, and it takes time. Failing is all right. 
it's not a bad thing to fail um, to, for a pro athlete because you can get better and learn from it. And those two are the best in the world, and we feel very comfortable with those two having the ball. Sometimes it goes in, sometimes it doesn't, um, but we learn from it. And I think they've answered that question um, from day one. Um, as you just mentioned, they're one of the best, if not the best, in clutch time. But that was a big big thing you guys wanted to make a big deal about last year but you're not making a big deal about it this year because shit's going good right so write some positive shit i just asked you a question and i'm giving you a fucking answer <laughs> like i'm t you guys you know there's all right to write positive stuff people will read your positive shit <laughs> you don't always have to be negative Right, like it's it's just the world is already negative enough, right? So let's see some positive stuff on some positive people that are playing, doing their job on a nightly basis. Making it a lot easier to do that this year. Well, we're only into this year. We can't go back to last year, right? Like that's the fucking problem. Have a good night.